welcome back to my channel. Today is day 24 and today is all about planning those listings. So let's get into it. So now you have your listing description template sorted, product images, a list of products that you want to sell and a list of keywords that you want to rank for and will hopefully work for your Etsy shop. Now it's time to craft your titles and list your first items. It's very, very exciting. Definitely starting to take shape now. So before you start this step, if you're a type of person that likes to make a step-by-step -step plan, I would advise to make a list of the products you have and that you want to list. You can definitely plan them out in numerical order. So if you have like definite products that you want to get up first, you can list those first just to make sure that you have time to list the ones that you want to list. If you're a fan of just winging it, then by all means, just wing it. So now it's time to pick your first listing to officially list in your new Etsy shop. So you click the make a new listing button and essentially away you go. You put in your product description, your images, and you just work through hopefully all of the elements that you've already created and list that product as you go down the page. Then I would definitely recommend going in and adjusting all of the attributions, materials, and other drop down boxes that appear when you make listing. This includes categories, colours, occasion, size and any other aspect of your listing that could be you know attributed in these ways. So right now you should have a listing in progress right in front of you and you can import the pictures into that listing as well as your description template and things like that. Now let's write your product title. Now I often say to write this last because it is first on the page, but I recommend to put your product description and your photos in first so you can kind of remind yourself about what the product is and things like that. This is quite an important step because of Etsy SEO. Your title and your tags are two massive factors that affect your ranking in Etsy SEO, but not just Etsy SEO, also how Google reads your listing. So your listing title is very, very important. So grab that keyword and phrase list that you made at the beginning of this work Workbook. I can't remember what day it was, but you should definitely have it on you and start to reference those keywords because this will make making the listing title so much easier. It may also be handy to have the Etsy handbook up open on the page that is in relation to Etsy search, how to get found in Etsy search and et Etsy SEO, purely because Etsy does change things a lot of the time. And by the time you're watching this video, what I tell you can be outdated. So I'm not going to give you any specific SEO tips tips but I'm just gonna make sure to let you guys know to either check out my channel because I will always have new Etsy SEO videos published or to go direct to the horse's mouth and have a look at the handbook. So with titles, at the time of recording this there is some speculation as to whether longer titles or shorter titles work. I personally feel like if Etsy is going to give me all of that space, I'm not going to make a really short title because I'm wasting all of that keyword space that I could possibly rank for. So personally, I still use the long title format. However, titles is all about testing and especially for the first sort of 60 to up, even 120 days of your shop. In that window is a very, very important testing period to see what works for your shop. So a format that I have seen work for a lot of uh, my members shops and for my own shop and for also other, other shops that I have seen is to have a phrase, a comma, another descriptive phase another comma and then a gifting phrase so that you're covering all of your bases. But by all means, start with the longer titles and see how you fare. So as we went through with the keyword exercise of this course, um, definitely use gifting phrases as well as descriptive phrases and just also make sure to refresh yourself, go to Pinterest, Google, Etsy, the video I will link up here or in the description box below. But definitely just make sure that you are using words, which isn't only how you describe your item, but how other people describe your items as well, because your job is to funnel your target market to your product. So for our Lux Fizz, our bath bomb shop example, my title might look something like this. Purple lavender bath bomb, comma, relaxing bedtime bath fizzer, comma, gift for new mum. So you can see how I have used sort of blocks of different phrases separated by a comma. Now, I personally always use a comma. You can use space dash space. However, I have always found success with using a comma. So it's completely up to you. So the most important thing is your conversion rate when it comes to your titles. Now, write your titles for a customer, not a computer. So don't just write 
purple comma lavender comma bath comma fizzer comma because that's not written for a person that's written for a computer you have to find the sweet spot between writing really good keyworded titles and writing titles that customers can read and understand what the product is so this is why I recommend doing your keyword research way, way back so you know roughly what general keywords work and how people search for your product so that when you're making your specific listing, you can reference that list and also you can reference these books as well, which was in yesterday's, yesterday's exercise. And you can by all means really research into using specific long tail keywords in your title. So keyword stuff in your title, Etsy and Google Google have both come out and said, you know, they don't recommend this. What's classed as keyword stuffing? It's kind of a gray area. Um, people may say that my titles are keyword stuffed, but I make sure to use longer tail keywords that, you know, people can actually read. So by all means, do your own research and experiment as well. When you are li listing a listing, you can click the top right hand corner, a little drop down box will appear and you can copy that listing and only change one thing, which in this case would be your title. And just see what plays out, just see which listing fares better. But in regards to listing your listing on Etsy, it stays active on Etsy for four months and then it expires if no one has bought that item. So I would recommend leaving your list listings for the full four months and not to renew them, especially when you're first starting out. So that way you can see what's had views, favorites and sales, etc. When the listing has expired, they actually go into like a separate category on the right hand side of your Etsy listing dashboard, which is called expired listings. And that is a really fantastic, all ready-made list of all the listings that need attention. All the listings that you can go in and tweak the titles and tags and things like that, because they are the listings that haven't essentially sold. But you can can also go into the stats for these listings as well. So the next phase of this exercise is to scroll all the way down to the bottom for your tags. Now, first off the bat, I will always recommend to copy your title and paste it right into the tag section. If you have a long tail keyword, which is more than 20 characters, which as of recording this is how long an Etsy tag can be, you can by all means split it up into separate tags. So no worries there. So you're more than likely gonna be left with some tag spaces available. Now, you can reference your keyword list. You can go onto Pinterest, Etsy, Google, you can use Etsy Rank or Mar Marmalise, which is what I use. I use Etsy Rank. So yeah, you can definitely use all of these tools which will help you with your Etsy tags. Etsy tags is a bit like the title. There's not really a lot I can kind of tell you. By all means, reference the Etsy handbook. The most important thing is, is to fill all of your tag spaces in. There are 13 as of recording this, but definitely make sure that you fill all of the tag spaces because at the end of the day, these are opportunities for you to rank for that keyword. Now I have put in the workbook a little hack, which I did go through in the keyword planning stage of this course, but you can go onto a competitor's listing, scroll all the way down, and you will see their tags. Now, by no means am I saying for you to copy their tags, not good, not a good idea, but you can definitely at least get an idea whether they are using long tail tags, short words, what kind of tags they're using and so on. Also, don't repeat tags as you don't really need to and even if that word is in another longer tag, you will still rank for that individual keyword. So that's the basics of how to title, plan and tag your listings. I know I didn't go into too much details about, you know, how exactly you should do your titles, how exactly you should do your tags, but depending on where in the world you are, depending on how you write your descriptions, what keywords you use, and what you sell, there are so many factors when it comes to this. And also as well, what works for my shop might not work for your shop. So there's no way I can sit here and tell you exactly what to write and exactly how to write it. But if you research it and you read up and you even watch some of my SEO videos and other people's SEO videos, uh, read the Etsy handbook, use a tool like Etsy Rank, that's what I use, um, and really just educate yourself because it's a really fantastic skill to have when you're listing your other listings and in the future as well if you want to open up other Etsy shops and things like that. It's a really important skill to have to hand because you can essentially keyword any listing that you like. So 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you have gained a really good insight into how to do your listings. So by the end of today, you should have at least one listing done or at least a plan or a definite idea of how to list and title and describe and uh, put in your listing tags. So yeah, tomorrow we will be basically duplicating that and listing all of your listings. So make sure that you get to grips with it today because tomorrow you will be using it a lot. So guys, I hope you like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Comment below if you have any questions and either myself or another wonderful subscriber will help you out. And I shall see you tomorrow for the next instalment of this 30 Days to a Kick Butt Etsy Shop series. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.